Hey everyone, so anyone who knows me well will know that I'm a bit of a nut bar when it comes to makeup brushes. I've always been obsessed with them and they're the one thing that I just can't have enough of. So I want to just let you know a few of my favourite brushes. Um, I'll start off with say foundation brushes and I'd often use these to apply like moisturiser and stuff like that as well. Sometimes it's nice to have a little bit of that on the brush to um, dampen down the foundation certain circumstances and stuff. So most people will know these kind of like duo fibre brushes. So these ones are really handy. I mean these are ones that I do say in work and uh, if I'm doing a wedding or if I have to work on multiple people in quick succession. These are great because you get it on really quickly. Um, you, you use so little pressure on it um, that you don't press it into the skin. You just go really, really lightly. It leaves no streaks. It's such a handy brush and it gets the job done really quickly. Now, it may not be suitable for people with dry skin who have to worry about flakes because it could help raise those flakes. So it's better for people with normal combination oily skin. Um, and then, of course, there's smaller versions of them as well. So these are actually my favorite types. Now I've had this Gemma Kid one here for yonks, I've had it for about three years maybe and I got this in Boots now, I, I haven't seen it there since pretty much but I'm sure it's probably still available but it's just the size that I love of it Um, you can see it compared to this one so it's like a um, mini me when it comes to these guys and then of course then there's the MAC 188 which is similar size to the Gemma Kid one, a tiny bit smaller so the Gemma Kid is a little bit bigger that's why I like it but this is another one that I favour. I just find you have a little bit more control when it's a slightly smaller brush. So these are ones that I'd highly recommend for a light application of maybe a cream foundation. Great for light application of mineral based foundations like powders but also great for liquid foundations. So they really do give a streak free finish which is what I adore. Now brushes that are slightly newer to me but um, probably more loved than most of my other brushes would be these Kabuki brushes. These are fully synthetic. They're relatively new on the scene, on the like brush scene. They've these are the Sigma ones that I have. These have just totally changed the way um, foundation applies. Sometimes, I mean, some foundations that I could have might have struggled with in the past, these are just amazing at applying them. So these are basically what they are called. They're kabukis, but on long handles. I mean, they basically all do the same thing, they're just different sizes. My favourite ones would be these two, which is the one, no, the F80 and the F82 by Sigma. So that's them there. They just buff in absolutely amazingly with foundation. They're brilliant with um, mineral makeups, with powder makeups, and they're also really, really good with liquid because they're synthetic, they don't absorb the product, so they're actually just moving it around on the skin without soaking loads of it up and leaving streaks and stuff like that. So that's, they're brilliant ones to have. Also another one I love, which would be similar to those other um, duo fibre ones I showed you, would, would be this 130 by MAC. Um, I just love it because it's so short and dense, it really buffs and like really pushes the product into the skin, so I really love that. And then one that I think is worth mentioning for dry skin of course would be your more traditional flat brush. So these would be um, good because you can just paint, they literally just paint the product on, that way you can apply the product without having to worry about rays and flakes because you're not going in like tons of different directions. You can just go in the direction of the hair growth which is good because it'll you know flatten the hairs down as well as flatten any flakes down. And like people worry that these cause streaks but as long as you use these guys properly they won't cause streaks. So what, so I, what I would say is apply your foundation Build it up, don't apply too much because that's the problem with these is if you apply too much and then this becomes laden with product and you're just basically streaking through streaks. So just apply a little at a time in the direction of the hair growth or whatever and then just use the very tip, the feathery tip and use that to brush away any streaks and it does work really well if you do that. So they would be the most used um, foundation brushes that I would have. So as far as concealer goes, I definitely have my top favourites and they're absolutely these guys here. So most of these are from Sigma and then there's one from Sedona Lace. So they are the flat top kabuki brushes, like the, they're called the precision brushes. So they're basically the small version of these bigger ones that I showed you a while ago. So this one here is the P82, it's basically like your fingertip, it's synthetic, it's not going to absorb the product. So that's what I love about it, it just blends and buffs in products without um, soaking it up and causing streaks and just moving it around the place. This flat one I find is brilliant for around the face because often what I do 
Um, I don't like to wear a heavy foundation most days at all. I, t I often don't wear any foundations. What I often do is just use my um, concealer. I put a line of it down the centre and I look like a warrior. I have a couple of lines coming out the side and then I use this just to buff all that in and blend it in and then cover any bits that I need covering and that's usually what I do. This kind of one here is perfect for precision and you can use the tip, the very tip of it. This is the P80 again by Sigma and you can use the very tip to just spot conceal and then let that blend in or kind of set in and then blend it out. It's great for getting in around crevices and um, in around the under the eye area and stuff like that. Brilliant. And then this one here by Sedona Lace is what I love. It's the EB13 which is the eyebrush 13. Now the reason I love this is because I've always traditionally used like these kind of ones which is like the MAC uh, 117 and 224. These are the Sedona Lace and Sigma versions or something but you know what I mean. They're just those blending brushes for eyes and I do use them still all the time at work. I think they're fantastic but being natural hair bristles they do tend to shed and to absorb the product which means the more product the bristle absorbs the more that's it the more product it comes laden down with and the more it'll streak so this kind of one here by um sedona lace won't absorb the same product but it's the same shape and the same um idea and it's so soft it's absolutely fantastic um and i find these uh, synthetic bristles sometimes can be a lot softer than some of the natural hair ones so they will be even less streaking because of that so those are definitely my four top concealer brushes then going on to say highlight now this would be more for um liquid highlight rather than cream highlight so again i would use this guy here i just think it's really really good it's a nice size just if you want to get the top of your cheekbone or just get along your cupid's bow the nose that kind of thing it's just brilliant because like i said it is synthetic and then this one here is good as well it is another one of those sigma kabuki ones or precision angle ones it's the p84 it's angled so it's wider than it is longer which is great so you can put it on its side and go like this or you could put it on its narrow end and go down the middle of your nose so you just have a little bit more a bit more precision exactly what it says on the tin and those would be pretty much my favorite ones for liquid highlighters now going on to powders um, I definitely have favorites I have this one here by Sedona Lace again and this is a little bit like some of those flat ones you saw um, like the uh, foundation brushes so this one you could actually use this for foundation as well because it is synthetic um, and it's a powder brush love this for um, working mineral powders or just like powder foundations to fix plus anything like that into the skin really really good I just love these flat top kabukis I think they're absolutely amazing another powder brush that I really like which is I would say it can be used for blusher and powder and even for contouring this is a one does all kind of brush this would be the Sedona Lace FB05 which is the same as the MAC 130 so these little squat um, chubby brushes here they're just brilliant for buffing in I absolutely adore them they work really well it's what I use to apply my mineral foundation today because what I did was apply some concealer first and then buff in the mineral foundation and it just works perfectly there's no weird lines or anything like that, like that. so those are fantastic brushes to have if you can get their hands on them your hands on them now other brushes that I absolutely adore so this is the MAC 131 and then this is the Sigma equi equivalent. So they're practically the exact, exact same thing. Now what I love about these um, would be the fact that it's not that dense at the top. So this is perfect for very light powder application. Again, this is something else I'll use for blush a lot. Just a gorgeous brush. Um, it is synthetic at the top. So I find that it's hard to overload a powder with this because natural hair bristles, the reason they're good for powder is because they really pick up the powder because of the structure of the hair. Um, but I like that this doesn't pick up too much powder unless you want it to. So you have a little bit more control when you use this kind of brush. So I would highly recommend this if you can get your hands on it. Now the MAC one was limited edition or else it could be pro, I'm not sure. But if you go to the Sigma website, you can definitely get it there as well. So I definitely check those out. And another kind of brush that I absolutely love for powder application would be these kind of smaller um, blending brushes, which would traditionally be more used for eye area or maybe for powder highlighter and stuff like that but I just think they're absolutely brilliant for um, precise application so I find with most people unless you're like an oil slick or extremely oily um, or you're going to be under hot lights or you're, you want your foundation to last all day and you don't mind it being a bit heavier and a little bit more in place 
usually you'll get away with just powdering a tiny bit in the areas you need it. So for me it would literally be swipe across the forehead, down the nose a wee bit, just around the sides and under the chin and that's often what I do. So these ones work really well for that because I find you, it's hard to over powder. So I'd use this one which is like the MAC 224, the Sigma SS 224 and whatever it's called nowadays. This one here is the Inglot 4 SS. This is an absolutely brilliant one as well for, you know, precision application of powder. And then other ones that I've picked up that I really, really love would be like this one which is from the art store and this is a dollar roundy you all know i love my dollar roundy because i'll show it to you when i get to my favorite liner brush but this is an oval wash and um, usually these ones are for watercolors because they're natural hair bristles which is great for powder and this is the three quarter inch uh, oval oval wash and the brand or the series is graduate i got this for like 150 in an art store which is brilliant also, there'd be the smaller version. This is the half inch um, oval wash. Brilliant again for precise application and great for, um, like say, powder highlight. These are great because of the size. They're really good for contouring and stuff like that as well. So I definitely go into your art store and I would highly recommend picking up those kind of brushes. I was able to get these ones, which are a little bit, these guys are a little bit more tough or rough when it comes to the hairs, but they're good for really buffing in something that needs working in. These guys would be the round mop tops or the round mops so those again I got for about 150 each and then so you can kind of see I kind of prefer my small powder brushes to my big ones this is another brilliant one it's the tapered highlighter by um, Sigma the F35 and this one I find again I use it for all over powder and for contouring as well as highlighting this is brilliant and it's really good for if you want to just apply your blush in one little area as well so they'd be my favorite powder brushes now um, some of them will be my favourite blush brushes as well. So again, the tapered highlighter brush, that one is one I use all the time for blusher. The, the Sedona Lace and the MAC one that I said was like this short little one. These work really good for blusher. So I use this to apply my foundation as well as my blush today. These guys here for blusher and all of these pretty much because they are the slightly smaller size, I find that they work really well for contouring as well. Especially when you have a tip like this where it is thinner than it is wider. Um, you know it's thinner on this on its side so you can get really get in there and get um, along that line and really buff it in really well and you can be as delicate as you want because the tips of these are delicate I also love this Inglot, Inglot one for uh, contouring and as well for highlighting so I tend to use the same brushes for a lot of those um, for a lot of those ones now other ones people, some people like would be these kind of angled ones. Actually I don't use them as much in myself or myself but like with the larger um, dual fibre foundation brushes I use these um, at work and on my clients a lot and say when I am in a hurry and working on many faces because they just, they're handy and you're a little bit quicker because they are bigger brushes. So this one was the 169 by MAC but you can also get this one here which is the 168 very very similar practically the same thing it's all about the shape uh, oh and before I forget I also have a few favorites for um, bronzer so for me with bronzer I tend to be a bit more precise about where I apply it now one that I love is this ID bear essentials um, it's called flawless face powder brush but this one, I do use it for powder all over, but I think it's a really nice blush for bronzer because it's just not too big and I find I can be more controlled, I can have a more controlled application with it. So this one I got with one of the Bare Essentials kit, but you can get it singularly as well. I just think it's fantastic. Then, of course, you have these really big brushes. This is the Sedona Lace 376. Um, you have the MAC 1... 50, they're all kind of the same idea. They're just really fat headed brushes. They're really good for bronzing all over the body when you need to do a big area quite quickly. Same if you need to get a lot of like an iridescent powder along the body and stuff like that. They're ones that I would recommend. Now the MAC one is more expensive. It's about 50 euros here in Ireland. So if you can get your hands on the Sigma equivalents or the Sedona Lace equivalents, they're really brilliant. And the ones that I've fallen in love with recently would be these ones which are like these tulip shaped heads. Um, this is the Sedona Lace again, it's the FB03 and this one what I love about it is it's quite large so you can use it on its side and get quite a big area but you can also use the tip, the tulip tip and like if you're using your bronzer to contour you can use it just to work out those shapes and then you can 
go a bit heavier and use the sides of the brush to buff it out. So it's a really handy brush. You can even just do that on the sides of the nose if you want to contour there as well. So there are other ones that I find are really, really handy for powdering as well as doing um, bronzer. So I hope this was helpful. I'll be showing you my favorite like eye and lip brushes in the next video. So keep watching for that. Thanks a million guys. Slan.